Today we are going to be working on a division math problem. So our problem is, a theme park wants to put an equal amount of balloons on four different parade floats for a holiday parade. They have 1,268 balloons total. How many balloons will each float have? So you see we have, we want to put an equal amount of balloons onto four different floats. And then we have 1,268 balloons. We want to share those balloons equally with four different floats. So I've written our division sentence here. So 1,268 divided by 4. But first we are going to use our concrete blocks to get started on this problem. So we're going to start with our thousands. So because we only have up to hundreds columns here, we're gonna turn this hundred into a thousand. And we're gonna and we're gonna do that by having ten of those. So this is our hundreds cube. It has ten one hundred blocks. So next we're gonna do our hundreds column, which is gonna have two hundred in it, or two hundreds blocks. Okay, next is our tens column, which has 60 in it, which is going to be six tens. Alrighty. And finally, we're going to do our ones column, which is going to have eight ones in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we want to divide these equally into four separate groups. So we're going to hide that and we're going to put these, we'll start with the thousands into four groups. One, two, three, and four. So we'll start with 100. So we're splitting up our thousands into hundreds. And then we're going to split that into four equal groups. So we have three and then four. All right. So we're gonna do our next hundreds square. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we have 200 left from our hundreds column, so we're going to, or from our thousands column, and we're going to split that into there, and then we're going to put our two hundreds into the other two, so we have an equal amount of hundreds in each group. So next, we need to split up our tens. So we're going to start with that one. We'll go one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we have two tens left over, or 20, and in tens groups, they can't be divided equally into four. So we're going to turn these tens into ones by regrouping. Okay, so I now have ten ones blocks instead of two tens blocks. Okay, so those are going to get equally divided between the four groups. 
three, four, until we are all out of ones. Okay, so those are our tens that we turned into ones, and so now we're going to divide our ones up. And it looks like we will not have a remainder, so all of the balloons will get divided evenly into our different groups. So now we have to count how many balloons will be in each group or on each parade float. So we start out with 1,268. We divided those equally into four groups. We ended up with one, two, and three hundredths in each group. Okay, one, ten. Okay, so there's our hundredths column, and then we have one, ten, so we're gonna go one, zero to show our tens and then we're going to add our one so one two three four five six and seven ones all right and that's going to leave us with three hundred and seventeen balloons in each parade float. So that is how you show this with concrete models. Next we're going to do abstract and pictorial models. Alright, so we still have our same problem, so 1,268 divided by 4, written it two different ways. And I have my block set up over here for my pictorial model and then over here I have my abstract model and that's just going to show us with numbers what we're doing with pictures. So we're going to start by dividing or we're going to start by putting 300 in each group. So we're going to put 300 blocks. Turn these green so you can see them. And once we're done putting our three hundredths into each block, we're going to add everything up and see how many hundredths we have total. Alright, so I now have 300, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 hundreds, which is also 
1,200. So we're going to put that in inside our box here. And then we're going to subtract that from the number that we already have up there. So we're going to subtract uh, 1,200 from 1,268. Okay. And that will leave us with 68. So we have six tens and eight ones. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to put 10 in each group. So we're going to put one 10 block in each group. Alright, so there's one, two, three, and four. So we have four tens, or 40, so we're going to subtract that from our 68. And that's going to leave us with 28. We're going to put seven ones into each group and see what happens. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we add all those up, so there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So we're going to put twenty-eight in here and subtract twenty-eight from twenty-eight. That leaves us with zero, which means we don't have a remainder. So now we have our 300, our 10, and our 7, and that is going to give us the number that we have in each of our groups. So that's 317. And that is our answer. So that's what we have up here in our block, so that's how many we know is in each group. So, 1,268 divided by 4 is going to be 317. So, our math problem was a theme park wants to put an equal amount of balloons on four different parade floats for a holiday parade. They have 1,268 balloons total, and how many balloons will each float have? and each float has 317 balloons.